Hi there, welcome to Nighthawk Archery. This is our third video, and in this video we're going to demonstrate how you can tear down your bow, in other words, uh, remove the limbs from your bow with the Nighthawk bow press. Now in the earlier videos we've demonstrated how the bow press mounts and how it operates and things like that. So in this video we're going to try to cut as much of that out as possible. Now the first thing I advise you to do if you're new with servicing your bow is to make a drawing of the strings and cables or take a digital camera, take a picture of where your strings and cables are so that you'll have some reference when you go to restring the bow. Now in the, with this bow we can back the limb bolts off and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to back these off once, twice, I'm going to do it three times. I know this that will not impair anything with this bow. Same on the other one. Once, twice, three times. Now that I've done that, just just makes it easier for me to press the bow. Now I'll mount the bow press on and uh, press the bow, and then we'll remove the strings and cables. Now I've re I've put the mount of the bow press and uh, press the bow, and now I'm going to remove the strings and cables. And I'm just going to set the string off to the side. And now we're going to extend the, the turnbuckle and disassemble the bolt. Okay, we just about got it extended all the way. And now, uh, a little bit more. So come to a point where I can pinch the frame and the limb together and that's probably right now and now I can I can remove this pin and just relax it and there we are the bow is disassembled and I can remove the bow press. And there we are. If you had to take and work on the pockets of your bow, like in this case, I've had to silicone one of the limbs in because it was starting to make noise. No. Now, to reassemble the bow, I'm going to just reverse the process of disassembling it. I'm going to show you a little secret that I use. I take a piece of masking tape. And I tape the limb onto the bowl. And of course the masking tape doesn't impair the finish, it doesn't uh, interfere with anything that we're doing. Now that is in there, that is it, okay. 
And once again now, we're going to just mount the, uh, oh, better do that first. First I'm going to extend the turnbuckle. And what I do is I just lift the, this up. And that's as far as it'll go. Fully extended. Now I'm going to mount the uh, bow press onto the bow. The same as we always do. I'm going to squeeze this together and move the pin in a couple things. And what I did is I just eliminated some of the movement I have to make, some of the pressing action I have to make with the turnbuckle. Move the cam. And there we are. Now I'm just going to press the bow back together. Hmm. Now I can see if I can put the cable on, I mean the string on, the cable fits on, and I'm just going to check to see if I've got the bolt pressed enough to do that. I always do it this way because I, I don't want to overpress the bow. And if I, it's very simple if I had to put more if I have to put more press onto it, that's simple. That's very easy to do. So handy that look at the diagram and check just to make sure I'm getting the end of the cable on the right Mm -hmm. we looking? Well, we don't have it pressed enough, I can see that. But that's very simple to do, add a little more press to it, so you can say better to have to add press onto it than to overpress your bow. Much easier just to add a little more press to it. And I think we did the job. Yep, the peep sight's on the same sight end as the sight would be. And we just pressed it. It's just a matter of releasing the low press. Once we released it, we take and add three more turns onto the bolt. 
and you've just taken and removed the limbs and put them back on. So, we have one more bow to do.